Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video, I wanted to go over the reveals, release dates, and my reactions to this past Fan First Friday from Hasbro Pulse. Now, if you didn't see it, I'll have a link in the description below to the live stream so you can check it out. Okay, let's get on with the reveals. First set of reveals is the much anticipated 86 movie studio series line. Now this line is a subline of the studio series and as you can see here they will all be using the number 86 as their designation but each individual figure in this subline will have a sub number right next to it so as you can see the studio series Jazz has 86-01. Speaking of Jazz, here is Jazz 86-01 MSRP 1999 with a release date of February 1st of next year. He converts from robot to race car in 20 steps and has a backdrop that showcases Jazz on Moonbase 1 during that scene where Unicron is uh, attacking that base. Here he is in robot mode, very cool looking, a little bit of hollowness in the arm. Uh, would have been nice if there was a flap there, but uh, other than that, I think he looks great. A much better update to this character than what we got with the last generation's Jazz. Now, one thing I did notice, if you look on the arms, it does look like he has those 5mm ports, at least on the shoulders, that the Siege figures have. Here he is in vehicle mode, and you can see he can mount the weapon on the roof. Very cool looking, very true. I love that the rims are painted. That's a nice touch. And here he is with the included backdrop and Jazz in package. And as I was saying, you can see on the side, the designation 86 and then 01. Next, we have 86-02 Deluxe Cup MSRP 1999, releases on February 1st. Transforms from robot to Cybertronian truck mode in 21 steps and has a backdrop that showcases Cup in that Sea Squid showdown scene. Now, one cool part about this figure that was shown is you can actually take Cup apart so you can recreate that scene. Here he is in robot mode. You can see here he comes with that Energon goodie. Very cool. Really like the robot mode on here. Now, I'm not seeing any 5mm ports on him. Not on the arms or the legs. Another shot in robot mode. And in vehicle mode. Very nice looking. Very cool, you can attach the Energon Goody uh, case to him in vehicle mode. And here is the backdrop for Cup. You can see the squid in the background and Cup in package. Next we have 8603 Deluxe Blur, MSRP 1999, release date of February 1st. Transforms from robot to Cybertronian hover car mode in 18 steps. And the backdrop that is included is the Battle of Autobot City scene. Now the only issue I have with Blur in robot mode is the arms and uh, I don't know how I feel about it. I, I know the original figure, you could remove that front part of the car to become the shield, but it looks like in Studio Series, they didn't want to do too much parts forming, which is okay. Uh, I don't know, I, I guess all things considered, he still looks great, just the arm. So out of this first wave, I think he's probably the weakest out of all the figures in my opinion. Now he comes with a spark welder in his hand as an accessory included with him. Still, even with the arms, I think he looks great. And here he is in vehicle mode and you can see you can attach the gun. Very nice clean vehicle mode. And here he is with his backdrop of Autobot City and blur in package. Next we have our first Voyager 8604 Hot Rod. Now he has an MSRP of $29.99, release date of February 1st. Now in the stream they did note that while Hot Rod is a Voyager, he is sized as a Deluxe. Uh, the reason for the Voyager price point is they added a ton of features to this figure. So as you can see here, Hot Rod comes with a lot of accessories, the buzzsaw, the matrix of leadership, uh, blast effects, two blasters, and he does transform from robot to car in 29 steps. And he also has that feature where you can flip his head open and pull down a visor. So a lot of engineering and accessories went into this figure to justify the Voyager price point, which personally I don't mind because Hot Rod is such a major character in this movie. I do appreciate having all the accessories that were featured in the movie for this figure. Here he is in vehicle mode. And as you can see, you can attach everything onto him in vehicle mode if you wanted to. 
here he is with the backdrop. Very cool that he can hold the matrix like that and uh, kind of recreate that scene. And here he is in package as well. Next we have 8605 Voyager Scourge, MSRP $29.99. Releases February 1st. Converts from robot to Cybertronian hovercraft in 19 steps. Has a backdrop that shows Scourge in the Heralds of Unicron scene. And we can see him transforming. Unicron reformats Thundercracker into Scourge. At least in this writing, they are more clear on who became who, unlike Skywarp. Figure features blaster and blast effects inspired by the scene in the film when Scourge blasts Ultra Magnus. Very much looking forward to Scourge. I think he looks great. I'm actually going to probably pick up a few of these because I do want to have Scourge and his sweeps. Hopefully Toy Hacks does something with him. I'm, I'm pretty sure they will. And the plan is to get one set of Toy Hack stickers to be Scourge and then leave the rest to be his sweeps. Here he is in vehicle mode. Again, very true to the 86 movie. And a nice touch that you can flip that part open to have that scene where Scourge's face sticks out. And in package. Now I thought it'd be interesting to put Hot Rods and Scourge's package side by side since they are both Voyagers, just to kind of see the height difference between the two. As you can see here, Scourge is a lot taller. And here he is with the backdrop and in package again. And finally in this wave we have 8605 Leader Grimlock with Wheelie. MSRP of $49.99 also releases on February 1st. Converts from robot to T-Rex mode in 24 steps. Includes non-converting Autobot wheelie figure that can sit on Grimlock figure in both modes. He does have the backdrop to showcase Grimlock and Autobot wheelie in the mockery of justice scene on Quintessa. Very cool that we are getting a leader class Grimlock. I am very excited for this figure. I know other Dinobots have been leaked for this line and I can't wait to see them. I really hope they are all leader class. And here we have wheelie. Now he doesn't transform, which is okay for me. I, I don't really care for Wheelie to transform or not. I actually have the prior version of Wheelie, which is a, for what it is, is a great version of Wheelie. So I don't mind having this small version as an add-on. Now I do like the fact that we have Grimlock's gun, but I wish they would include the sword. In fact, I'd rather have the sword than Wheelie, to be honest. But I do get the theme is the 86 movie. And here is Grimlock in dinosaur mode. Man, I think he looks great. Can't wait for this figure to come out. And in package. Now I don't have a good picture of the backdrop, but you can see over here. Looks like it would match the Pit of Judgment backdrop. And last of the Studio Series reveals is number 69, Devastator Combiner Set of 8, MSRP $259.99, with a release date of December of this year. The 8-pack features all collectible Constructicon figures inspired by Transformers Revenge of the Fallen with additional movie-inspired decos that did not appear in the original releases. So I guess if you look at it, it probably has a little bit more decos on it. I don't know if it's battle damage or wear or weathering. It's kind of hard to see. Now, I already have all the figures for uh, Studio Series Devastator, so I am not in on this. It's cool that they have them together as an 8-pack for anybody who missed out. But for me, I'm okay with what I got. Um, I'm not sure what's the additional deco on these guys and who knows. But even if it's additional weathering, I'm okay. Because I do plan to customize and weather my own Devastator figure. And here is the backdrop. So this is the only thing that I probably don't have because this is unique to the box set. And here it is in package. I gotta say, it does look pretty impressive in package though. And the back of the box. Next, we have Target exclusives, and there are two of them. First one is Earthrise Voyager WFCE 26 Thrust with an MSRP of $29.99, release date of December 1st, 2020. Thrust is a third member of the Secret Elite Trio and converts it to jet mode in 23 steps and comes with two blaster accessories. And yeah, so the last of the cone heads. Fortunately, I was able to pre order this on Target.com. Pre orders went up yesterday um, at 12 noon 
Eastern time and you could pre-order them for a good two hours. Uh, they were still there. They limited it one per person per order. So um, I, I guess that helped. So the thing didn't sell out right away. But as of this recording, it is sold out. So I think the only way to get it now is on December 1st when they hit retail stores. Other than Target not having enough of the figure available for pre-order, I think this guy looks really great. Thrust is actually my favorite cone head out of the three. So I'm really looking forward to this figure to complete my cone heads. Here he is in vehicle mode. The only complaint I have is the Decepticon symbol. It's too small for me. I would actually prefer they put it on this part by the turbine. That's my only gripe with this, this uh, mode. Next exclusive from Target is WFC E41 Decepticon Runabout. MSRP 1999 also releases December 1st. And also of this recording, the pre-orders are sold out. So he is the second of the two battle chargers with Runamuck being a normal release. So it says here, Runabout converts into sports car mode in 16 steps. Comes with a blaster accessory that attaches the figure in both modes. Very cool. I like the color combination of black and red. I think he looks really awesome. I actually had Runabout as a kid. I remember thinking how cool he was in the commercial. And then when I got the actual toy, um, it was kind of lame. But uh, this will probably make up for it. Here he is in vehicle mode. Again, very cool looking, very nice. Love that the rims are painted. And you can see, you can attach the gun on top of the hood. Next we have the Amazon exclusives, but we only got one reveal, so just Amazon exclusive, and it's the Galactic Odyssey MicroMasters six pack. Now the Galactic Odyssey uh, collection is exclusive to Amazon. We already got two reveals, one being uh, Ratchet with the Medic, uh, lifeline and this other reveal was the Autobot twins uh, flat fast lane and cloud raker I believe and now we have the third reveal which is this micromaster six-pack which I am all in for release date is February 1st with the MSRP of $29.99 I'll have links in the description below to pre-order this from Amazon if you want to check it out also links for the studio series and other ones that I can find if you want to check it out as well now, being a fan of the MicroMasters, I'm totally in on this. And here's three of the six. Very cool. Can't wait for these. This is just a repaint of the combiner, the Septagon combiner, uh, MicroMaster combiner, which is fine. Here they are in vehicle mode. But here's the cool thing for me. Check this out. So this figure was inspired by the mask uh, figure Hurricane, as you can see the deco here. And this figure was inspired by the mask figure Stinger. So it's kind of cool that Hasbro is doing some tie-ins to other properties that they own. And on to the Walmart exclusives. Now this is a new line, a Wave 1 Generations Deluxe Retro Headmasters. Now when the stream first announced Retro Headmasters, I was super excited because I thought we were getting reissues of G1 Headmasters. Turns out we're not. We're getting re-decos of the Titans Returns Headmasters in retro packaging. I'm still not sure if I'm in on this yet. I mean, they're a bit tempting because they, I do like the retro packaging and that they have the more G1 look to them. But uh, I already own all these Titan Masters from prior years. So I'm still on the fence. Still not sure. But... First, we have Retro Headmaster Chrome Dome, MSRP 1999, release date of January 1st. Now, they did show in the stream the G1 packaging, and it looks really cool. I don't have any pictures of that here, though. But let's take a look at him in robot mode. It's basically Chrome Dome, as I think he should have been <laughs> from the beginning. He has his gun here, which is cool. Now, I don't think he came with a gun, his G1 gun, in... Um, in Titans Returns. And here he is in vehicle mode with his headmaster. Seems to have better paint apps too. Oh man, I, I think I might be in on these. Next we have Hardhead, 1999, release date of January 1st. Now looking at him closely in robot mode, it looks like he has stickers. 
if you look on the legs, on the thighs here, probably to give a more G1 toy look. And in vehicle mode. Next we have Brainstorm. Brainstorm looks like he has some stickers as well. He does have the more classic G1 face because there's no face plate on him. Last but not least in this wave, we have Decepticon Mindwipe, MSRP of $19.99 with a release date of January 1st. Here he is in robot mode. Still, like I said, I'm on the fence with these since I already own them. They do look like better versions of what I already have. So that's why they are very tempting and in beast mode. Now this is the first wave of this new retro series, so it does open the door for more retro uh, figures. I'm assuming the second wave will have the Decepticons Headmasters. And who knows, this new retro line could be a continuation of giving us G1 figures with Generations updates. So that would be pretty cool. Anyway, that's it for this video. A lot of cool stuff on the horizons for Transformers can't wait it is really a great time to be a fan let me know what you guys think in the comments below and thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe follow us on social media and check out our discord links in the description below